Hello everyone, Matter Party King here, and on this episode of Forgotten Vintage, we're going to take a look at Captain Power again. Uh, this one's going to be on his Power On Energizer, so it'll probably be a little bit of a shorter review, because there's really not a whole lot to go over, but we will take a look at some of the things that he comes with. Uh, it does come with this nice sticker sheet, and you can see he's got his little Captain Power gun there. Uh, this one is, he did come carded as a figure, and he also came uh, in here with the Power On Energizer. So uh, this one I just left in here, and this is the gun that goes with him. Then he also came with... A uh, little instruction sheet told you exactly what he came with, and you couldn't just look in the box and tell. Uh, how to put it together, it's not complicated at all. You really don't even need this, except for the part where it tells you where to put the stickers. Because it does come with a few of those. Then it comes with this battle guide. Uh, it's pretty much like the other ones that we took a look at whenever we reviewed the uh, X-T7 Power Jet and the Phantom Striker. So a little bit of artwork on there. And then you get this nice little top secret card so there's captain power and the power on energizer you flip it over here and what i will do for you guys that want to read you can pause that read that if you want all right there you go and let's take a look at the toy itself uh now there's really not a whole lot to it but there are some nice details to it so as you can see here in the side uh let me move the camera down a little bit better so you can see but there are details all around it which is really nice uh, even in the handle here, so they, you know, Mattel did a really great job with this toy line. I really liked it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of it. That's why you, this is my third video on it. Uh, but, you know, like I said before, it just didn't make it. It just came out at the wrong time and uh, didn't appeal to as many audiences that it was actually intended to go for. But as you can see, there's some stickers here. Um, they're all there. There's a couple stickers here. Uh, there's like a nice little sticker there. It's kind of like a little... Uh, I guess command uh, computer uh, some stickers over here and on the side I believe there's one over here as well and that's pretty much it now let's take Captain Power off here for a second and you have this one here now the the gimmick with this thing if you see Captain Power he's got a little hole in there if you uh, you can kind of see it through there he's actually got this little Captain Power symbol or that little falcon or bird whatever the thing is uh, you plug him on there and you have a switch back here that you could flip on and again it's going to make a very annoying noise so uh, you might want to turn down your speakers or audio uh, but you can push this button here and it can make a noise and it will flash and there's Captain Power he's powering on so we'll go ahead and turn that off but pretty cool annoyed the heck out of your parents uh, but there was a gimmick to it so let me go ahead and show you the box uh, we'll bring it up real quick here and figure inside a little bit about him flip it over here and some nice artwork and the two gimmicks with it is whenever you're watching the actual VHS or the show uh, whenever he goes into his power on mode if you had this turned on uh, as soon as the lights got really bright on the television, it would actually activate through the sensor in here, and he would actually start flashing as well. Now, the other little gimmick to this guy, uh, if you were playing around with, you know, like I did with my brothers, and, you know, he either had the Power Jet or the Phantom Striker, and I, like I showed in those videos, whenever you shoot, or it shoots that sensor five times, it'll actually eject the figure. Well, if, say it was hit four times, you have this guy turned on, and as you can kind of see in the animation here, uh, let me flip it on, turn it on again. Yeah, that light right there would hit that guy. Uh, the light would hit the guy, and it would send that would be a hit, and it would send him ejecting. So uh, it was kind of cool, but you know, there's really not a whole lot more to it. Uh, just a really cool toy. Had a few gimmicks made by Mattel, 1987, and we'll do some more Captain Power stuff, and we'll look at some of the figures from actual Series 1. Uh, I'm trying to collect and complete the Series 2, so we'll take a look at that whenever I get that in. But thanks a lot for watching, guys, for you guys that do enjoy these Forgotten Vintage videos, and I'll talk to you later.